All right, today is uh, part two of the 5.3 liter rebuild. We're going to completely disassemble this engine, get it prepped for the machine shop. Uh, as we're taking things apart, we're going to make sure we keep things labeled and organized. Um, there'll be a big sequence of where we're putting things on tables and, and uh, keeping all the valves and lifters and push rods all in order. And, and as we take things apart, we're going to kind of clean them off a little bit and we're going to inspect everything. We're going to start looking for any place that there might be some issues uh, with the previous running of this engine. So we're going to start by taking off the intake uh, manifold. We're going to remove all the knock sensors, the uh, coolant air bleed pipes, uh, the valley pan cover, and probably get to the valve covers real quick. So, so let's get that stuff taken off. Here's our first look inside this engine. We've got uh, inside the valves and the rocker arm area, we've got uh, just a golden brown look, but no buildup of sludge. Um, obviously some dark brown oil that's just adhered to the metals and stuff, but, but all that looks really good. I don't see any signs of anything that's alarming. And if we look, we got a first look at the camshaft and um, no big markings or scars there, although that cam will be removed. Just looking for excessive wear. There is some buildup on the intakes of the heads of some uh, black sludge and stuff like that, but that'll get all get cleaned out uh, when we take it to the machine shop. All right, we're going to continue by taking off all the rocker arms, pull out the push rods, and we'll remove the spark plugs. I 
Okay, hold it up. Okay. Can you give me a ratchet? We got three exhaust bolts that uh, the heads were off, but when we got the engine, we didn't do it. And I'm going to take a first attempt at trying to get these out uh, before sending this to the machine shop. If if I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna booger it up, but uh, I've actually let it sit for a while with some Croil. It's a really good penetrating oil and um, the oil that creeps. And uh, we're gonna we've now let that sit, and I'm gonna give it just a shot with some vice grips and see if I can get this to move slowly. Yep. 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 There we go. Okay, now it's time to get these heads off. We're gonna take these head bolts off in the reverse order that you would typically torque them. I think that'll be just a safe idea. So uh, here we go.
Okay, I'm having a little bit of problems getting the lifters out. They should just pull right out. And um, I don't know if there's a lip down on this bottom that's catching and all that. Uh, or if it's a little bit flared. But anyway, it, they, they all seem to want to come out so far then stop. So I'm going to be replacing these lifters. So I'm not worried about messing them up. So I'm going to... I'm actually going to grab them with these vice grips and just kind of pull on them. Seem to, that seems to work. Let me show you on this next one if it does it. I get there and it stops. Even I get past there, it stops right there got two places that it wants to stop and I can't just wiggle it out so if I leave it at the bottom and just pull I can get it out ready yeah Spins. Okay, now I gotta loosen that bolt more. Uh oh, you gotta go the other way. Maybe. <laughs> hey, why do you guys keep pushing? Because when he goes the other way, I wasn't doing anything. I could have just put it on the other side of that rail. Yeah, came from up under it now. Cause see right now the way he's spinning it wants to go this way, so yeah. I'm just holding it. Yeah. Probably go like okay. Like the other side. Yep. Go. go no, you need to go the other side. No. Yeah. I put it on the other side of that rail. Oh, on the bottom side. Yeah. Okay. Why do you keep going in different directions? Well, I wanted to start pulling with the the bolt in here, real close, but now I've pulled the bolt out. Uh. We're going to pull off this front cover and then we'll get around the back side and get the back cover off as well.
Yeah. All right, next we're gonna take off the timing set, the cam retention plate, and we're gonna pull out the cam. And just kind of interesting to note how how much play, how much stretch that chain has endured over the years. So, all right, so let's get those three bolts there off. Let me get this tightened up there. Okay. Okay, set it right here. Okay, same thing. Window. I'll hold it. The you can push right there. Okay, now see if you can get. Okay, see if you can tap that. Just tap it slightly, don't tap it out of my hand. Okay. What do I do? 
Okay, so we got all the piston rods off and all these journals look really good. Um, we're going to take off these main bearing caps, just enough to take them off, make sure we don't have any spun bearings, check out the condition of that, and actually we're going to put them back. I'm going to take this to my machine, it's all assembled like this, but I do want to disassemble it, look at it, and uh, just get a first glimpse of the condition. Um, so why don't we start getting these... Okay, so we pulled all these main bearing caps off and inspected all these bearings. None of them were spun and they're all, you know, they, they've got little lines on them, but there's no major wear on them. They, everything looks really good. I'm so tickled with this engine. Um, we're going to reassemble this, get this back together, just, just um, get these bolts back snug and then we're going to deliver this to the machinist all back together, let him take it apart, look at it for a final inspection and his advice. And um, he's given me a list of things to bring, so I'm going to get all that gathered up. And um, this will be the end of the teardown portion of this. And then uh, next we'll, we'll go visit the machine shop and see what he's got to say. Okay, time for a quick mail call. So Sam over at Sam's Garage. Uh, Sam's working on a 1977 Camaro LT. Right now he's got it all stripped down, doing a lot of metal fabricating, and uh, no matter what your type of project is, there's, there's a lot of things to be learned by that. So uh, I picked up a lot of good tips from what he's doing there. So if you get a chance, swing by his uh, channel and uh, go back to some of the earlier videos and watch watch back through uh, his progress and, uh, and give him a little bit of support. Jack it up.